So from Leeds back to London. Thank you, John. Thanks very much indeed. Do you know some people don't like Harry Potter? Yes, I've noticed that from the text messages. Oh, but not, not many, but some people don't. Mm. Jim from Belfast says, Britain is now a neo-pagan nation that has forsaken the Bible. Harry Potter only adds to that great falling away from our Christian past. Oh, OK. <laughs> Phil in Yorkshire says, like most fads and fashions, uh, it'll be gone. Uh, laughing all the way. JK is laughing all the way to the bank on the backs of all those lemmings who bought it. Someone else um, said uh, that in five years' time, it'll be as uncool to like Harry Potter as it is to like Mr. Yeah, Blobby. Well, as a, as a fad, it's a long-lasting fad. It's mm. been going for years. Uh, Mark in Banbury says, Harry Potter is a great series of books that capture children's imagination. In his opinion, don't churn, turn children to witchcraft. Uh, and Richard in Sheffield says, I've read all the Harry Potter books eight times. Come on, Richard, get out a little. <laughs> I'm hoping that the new one will be just as good, if not better. Mm. Uh, one or two other people say, comparing the Harry Potter series uh, with others which they say are better. Uh, one suggesting the Philip Pullman, his Dark Materials I'm trilogy. I'm with them on that one, very, I very must good. say. Terry mm. Pratchett Discworld. If you like Harry Potter, there's only about 39 Terry Pratchett Discworld novels to read, so that would be something to keep you going until the next one yes. comes out. And whoever it sent us a text message saying who um, expires in this one, I can't read any more text because it would spoil my enjoyment of the novel. So now all the texts are Phil's responsibility this morning. So there'll be a lot of those coming your way. Coming up in the next half hour, it's been a rough fortnight for the Prime Minister, battered and bruised over Iraq, Europe and the reshuffle. We're going to be asking a couple of very experienced political commentators just how he's weathering the storm. No storms, I think, in the weather front this morning. Here's Joe Farrow.